Saving custom views in Microsoft Project 2010 has been simplified from previous versions. The first step is to make your changes to the view, then you can save the view to the current working file. Once it's been saved to the current working file, a copy is automatically stored in a local global template. In a server environment, administrators can copy this custom view to a template on the server making it available for all project users. So let's walk through these steps. I'll start by opening an existing file. I'm going to take a look at all the projects that are on the server and open up a sample project that I've created called Abaco Rollout. In this file I've got a custom view that I created that includes the work and the publish column. So you'll notice here the work column, which doesn't normally appear in the standard Gantt view, and the publish column is the second column that we don't normally see. Adding columns is quite simple. We can go to the far right, click the down arrow to add a new column, and then select the appropriate field of interest. Some of the other things I'll do when I'm customizing a view is change the time scale settings. So I may adjust the time scale in the Gantt display. I may even adjust the style of the Gantt display. I can go to my format menu and click the layout button to open up my layout options. And just as an example, I may choose to suppress the display of link lines. Once the changes are complete, I'm ready to save the view. On the view ribbon, the first button give me, gives me a list of views. At the bottom of that list, I have the option to save the current view. The Save View dialog allows me to assign a custom name. So if I wanted to call this My Custom View, after I've typed in the name, I'll click OK, and it's created a saved view. In addition, this particular view has a table that's paired with it. Because it's a Gantt chart, the left-hand side of this view includes a table of columns. To see the table that was saved along with this view, I can go to my list of tables on the view ribbon, and you'll notice there is a My Custom View table, which has been paired with this new custom view I've created. Both the custom view and custom table have been saved into a local global template. Calling up the Backstage menu, I see there's an Info tab, and this opens up a page of information about my current file, as well as the ability for me to go in and look at my global template. If I click on Manage Global Template and select Organizer, this opens an organizer dialog, which gives me access to many things that are stored in my global template, including views and tables. The custom table that was created in the background is also available. I can see my new table view is in the local file. It's also, it has also been saved into the global template. So if I scroll down, I can see my new view table is stored in the global template. So I'm going to cancel for my organizer and talk for a minute about Enterprise Global. So if you have administrator permissions and you want to save this view and table so that all project managers working on the server have access to this view, you can open up the Enterprise Global. It's going to contact the server to make sure that you have permissions to, as an administrator to open up that Enterprise Global template. Once I've opened up the Enterprise Global template, you can see in the title bar I've checked out the Enterprise Global. And I'll return to the Backstage, and under the Manage Global Template, because I've opened the Enterprise Global, that option has been grayed out. But now I'm going to go to the Organizer for this Global Template. On the left-hand side, I see my Local Global, on the right hand side I see the checked out Enterprise Global. So I'm going to move down and locate the new view. So my new view is going to be copied into the Enterprise Global. 
Now that's paired with a custom table. So I'm going to move to the Tables tab, locate the custom table called My New View Table, and copy that into the global template. Then I'll close the organizer and save the template. After saving the Enterprise Global, the final step would be to close. So if I go into my Backstage and click File Close, Microsoft Project will prompt to find out whether I want to check in this project. I'll click Yes to check in the Enterprise Global. It's important to note that any views you copy into the Enterprise Global cannot have the same name as an existing view in your local global. Otherwise, you'll see a conflict between those views coming off the server and those views coming off your local global. Another thing to note is you must have administrator permissions in order to open up the Enterprise Global. So I hope you've learned something new about creating and saving views in Microsoft Project 2010.